My name is Ramsony. Welcome back to Monster Train The Last Divinity. We're going to ooh, be playing Exiled, uh, Awoken, and Hellhorned. We got two copies of Steel Enhancer, two copies of Ritual of Battle, and one copies of Pyro Shards in the base deck here. Um, my Relic probably doesn't really influence my choice here at all. Will Denton, Will Denton, Vildenton. Uh, Predator versus Thornlord. The thing is, Predator is going to be a huge amount of damage for us, being quick and then later getting multi-strike. It's going to be a really good target for Rituals of Battle, really good target for Root Seeds, even a really good target for Steel Enhancer. So it's going to be fine for a fair while. Four units summoned to the middle. Oh, gosh. All right, well, I have to try. You don't see Sketches of Salvation and not take Sketches of Salvation. Unfortunately, there are a lot of imps in this deck. A lot of the time, those are going to be imps for a while. You're going to have to get a fair bit of removal until those aren't just, you know, constantly imps. It's okay, though. If nothing else, it is kind of just getting imps out of the deck. Oh, I wish I could take that out. Stealing hearts. Double root seed. Get one enemy unit on our top line. Uh, let's give you thorns. So I can kill as many of these as is possible for us. Set one of you on the midline, just in case. More draw probably matters more than more damage on the Ritual of Battle, just because these are all going to be just one damage chump blocks for us. Oh, actually, no, they're not. Oh, they are, right? Because we attack quick. Um, but we still get this. All right. If I didn't already have two copies of Steel Enhancer in the base deck, I'd probably take that. Raise a sharp edge. If... I could take a single copy of Raise a sharp edge. Or I could just take that Vine Grasp, get the ability to actually delocate enemies. Let's take, let's take the Vine Grasp. Adding more imps into the deck at the moment is going to be pretty hard to do because the Sketches of Salvation is going to be taking them. We've already got two Rituals of Battle in the base deck. I think I take my money there. Uh, Awoken unit. Hellhorn unit. I'm actually pretty likely to just go for two different units and buff them up. Multi-strike. Shattered Shell. Hmm. That's really annoying. That's a great unit. So why is that annoying if it's a great unit? Well, it's annoying because I've just lost the ability to actually micro where it goes. Putting that on the same floor as Wildenton so that it's quick with multi-strike is huge. It coming in with Rage 7 actually wouldn't even be bad. All right, comes in with 14 extra damage by base, and then that starts getting it kills so that it can start building up its actual... Uh, its, its, its own damage numbers. The only problem is if I do that, then it's not getting extra health. It's vulnerable to a lot of sweeps and things like that. Okay, let's have a look out here. Value Stone, True Stone... Well, Value Stone almost certainly goes on one of the Rituals of Battle here. I feel like that's a foregone conclusion. True Stone going on Vine Grasp? Yeah, it could happen. Uh, I don't think it proposes enough value to really overcome its own downsides. I also don't think I'm joining anything here. I think I can get away without taking one there at the moment because I am going to this Merchant of Steel afterwards as well. Almost any units gain spikes three. That's okay. 
If I was actually relying on the Shattered Shell to do my kills for me, then that wouldn't be okay, but I'm not, so it's okay. So I can get it to kill itself to get all of the enemies here, I guess. And then set myself up on the bottom line. Um, I think I will put two shiny suits on the top floor. Not thrilled about it, mind. At least that one's down. Uh... So I can stop them from making their way to the top floor if I pull you to the front. I might just have to pop down the Queen's Impling as a chump blocker here. Seems like that was probably right. We vine grasp you. We murder you. Unfortunately, those are quick, so they're actually attacking fast enough to get that steel slate. Oh, that's so rude. They're attacking fast enough to die to the steel slate. Um, thankfully, we get another attack out with that. Do I have the damage for this? It's the key question, ain't it? So you attack me for four, I attack you back, you attack me. So uh, this gets us more damage. Nice! Get him, Drain Steward! You look so familiar. All right. Restoration detonation, maybe. Just get myself an active heal in the deck, because I currently have none. Sure. And there's the hidden passage I was looking for. All right, Merchant of Steel. Wow me. Oh, Multi-strike, my god. Alpha friend. Alpha friend, and I've just been offered multi strike. Plus one to capacity and strike for plus five damage. Huh. Is there ever a world where I put another multi-strike on the Shattered Shell and then I just nest the Alpha Friend in it? It's not a good unit to dupe. I could pull it out of the midline with the Hidden Passage or I could pull myself into the midline with the Hidden Passage with Wildenton. Do we have Intrinsic here? We don't. We have another value stone, though. That's really good. Right. First things first, I'm going to give you the extra multi-strike. <sighs> Might have been a huge mistake, but I need to do that before I go to the concealed cabin here. Spike, seal, and extra damage burst that. Um, I needed to do that before I came to the concealed cabin, just in case I got another opportunity to upgrade that unit again. It's going to be difficult to support its health, but I really like the idea of this. Like a shattered shell that just grows and grows and grows and doesn't care and keeps growing. Tell me that doesn't appeal to you. And then I'll tell you you're a liar. You're a GD liar. How dare you <laughs> defile my house with that? Get a queen zimpling out of the deck. Maybe a second one, actually. Need to remove as many of those minions as quickly as we possibly can now. So you apply daze and strike. 
Your mind's fine. Great. Uh, okay. Shattered Shell on the top line and then start chump blocking for it for a while. And then put, what, Wildenton on the bottom? No, Wildenton dies if they go on the bottom line right now. That's the problem, right? The moment while these both have two capacity without getting hidden passage early. Spikes, eliminating the entire line. You're going to ascend one more next turn, Talus. Which would actually be lethal when you get to this top line. Uh, so instead of using Ritual of Battle, I'm going to use the Root Seeds for an extra draw. We're looking for more health support, or we're looking for chump units to block. There's a chump unit to block with. Hearts of Mind Grasp. And Shiny Steward. Okay. So we have one Shiny Steward left. Yeah, this is going to be really difficult, if not impossible. Yeah, I, I don't see how I'm going to get enough health on the unit to live. Uh, oh, 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 you, uh, you are actually kidding me. I could do it. I could totally do it. But this train sewer would need not to exist. Because I need to be able to put Will Denton on the top floor. If I mm, do that, it's three, 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 two, four, nine, eleven, fifteen. If you're not on this floor, I can live through this. So you ascend to the top line then. I think I still have to wait in the next cycle to try and put Well Denton here and then ascend it if I have if I want to have any chance of winning. What a weird way of having to play. Denton, ascend. Uh, and then we will just enhance your damage still. Yep, that'll do it. Spike of the Hellhorn is not a bad solution to this problem, actually. That is a lot of armor for the Shattered Shell, as well as a lot of rage at the same time. Be happy with that. Ah, I see. So, here's the problem, right? Ideally, what does this deck do? It gets the alpha, uh, the the shattered shell on the. Oh my god! Really? Yikes! 
Uh... I... Hmm. Ideally, what this deck does is it gets the Shattered Shell spawned to the midline from the Sketches of Salvation. And then I put Will Denton on the top floor and then I Hidden Passage. This has Intrinsic Holdover and then we just put a bunch of things behind Will Denton. God, this is rough. Steel Sing is big, but really hard to use. And if it's not the thing that's summoned for free, it's really bad. I don't like that, but I still feel like it was the play. I take draw here. Got a lot of cost reductions on things we want cost reductions on already. Why dupe Hidden Passage? I don't think I do. But I do remove two more... Sorry, a Shiny Steward and Queen Simpling. Probably should have been two Queen Simplings. Forgot about that for a second. Um, look at the Hellhorn units. Demon Friend going to the midline would be nice. I'm not going to take that money, I don't think. Predator will get your multi strike. We will hell vent in order to get a second copy of that Shattered Shell, I think. I will take the excess money because we are going to the Merchant Trinkets in the next area. Almost enemies gain multi strike. If this works correctly, that shouldn't matter at all. Step one down. four. So I can't do anything about that light heart still right now. Can still try and hidden passage you up. That would be play a queen. Oh god. Play a queen zimpling. Give it a buff. Then buff you, I guess. No, that's not going to do it either. Alright, this one's going to be rough then. There's the hidden passage right on time. Uh, we... We now need to focus on Will Denton getting very big. We do have, mind, a lot of support for Will Denton getting large enough to actually kind of clear this by themselves. That's not impossible. In fact, it's quite likely it works out that way. The problem is going to come when the boss spawns, and then the boss is doing infinite damage. Well, uh, we'll, we'll regret that problem when we get to it. Give me a moment to regret the other problems, eh? Like, if I'm going to be able to do it at all, that was my best shot, and in fact, it will work. Woo! 
This is what I get for not give. Oh my god, Root Split Mask is so good here. I'm very glad that I took that challenge. The Pyagra? Looks good to me. Tie some climb. I'm not going to use Tyson Climb there. The Days 2 is really rough. Instead, I want to accomplish the same thing by just removing more cards from the deck. Friendly units gain plus 5 HP actually might be big enough. Um, let's get two Inklings out of the deck. Got a Vine Grasp every turn? Sure. I'll take that. Question now becomes, do I take Rage Doesn't Decay on friendly units? It is quite good. It'll turn out to be a decent amount of damage over the course of the fight. But removing one more shiny steward right now is really good. Hellvent, Unstable Vortex, Herzl's Horde. What would I even do? It could be Hidden Passage. It totally could be Hidden Passage. In fact, it is Hidden Passage. <laughs> I'm glad to have sorted that one out for you. Self-made Harpy. Oh, you're going to be rough to us. Non-boss enemy units, non-boss enemy units. If it was any boss enemy unit, we couldn't do that. But non-boss enemy units, well, this is a completely different question. We did it. Okay, well, Denton goes there. We ascend one of y'all. Yeah, we had to do it in that order. So we can't put the Shadow Shell. Well, I can actually put the Shadow Shell in front. Pop it in front with the old uh, Cursed Vines, eh? <laughs> get him. Uh, get Root Seeds, though. Definitely drop a Pyagro. It's already coming. Um, this doesn't need to get that many Slayers because it's not really intended to do too much. Uh... I guess there's no reason for it to die yet. Actually, I'm going to kill it personally. Oh, which let the, the Resolver escape. Dang. Didn't want it to escape, but I do want this Shattered Shell to get as many buffs as here as possible. These fine grass for reordering our party are going to make a lot of sense once the demon friends can also make their way up here. Skill pretty damn good. This frontliner is now doing enough damage that it doesn't really need any more damage support. So instead, I'm going to start supporting the Wool Denton in the back line. Guess I can pop the shiny steward up there. Ah, oh, I should have got rid of the, the purge there. Didn't need another vine grass left in the deck. Um, now I don't benefit from you coming to the top floor faster at all, right? Don't think so. So seven by eight. Seven by eight is uh, 56. You cannot survive a single 56. 
You deal 60 extra damage every time I hit you with one of these. Okay, we actually do continue buffing you because you deal more damage with it per buff. Go to see the extra multi-strike you have. That train steward is what clutches this right now? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, all right. Still alive. Restoring Retreat, the ability to descend a unit. That's actually way better, isn't it? Impish Scholar to return a consumed card. There is a Pyro and a Spike of the Hellhorned. It's also an Alloy of the Ancients. I think I just take the straight up Alloy of the Ancients here. Keep a unit alive. Okay, Divine Temple, show me Intrinsic! Ah! Okay, 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 okay. So Intrinsic means now what I can do is take the Restoring Retreat and then send that unit down. Will Denton, that is. Get Will Denton to the back line. Uh, engage a pact? No, not really. Use this for a double removal on Shiny Steward, Shiny Steward. Uh, it comes down to, do I want? Another Shattered... I think I do just want another Shattered Shell on that line. Let's have a look at this first, though. Uh, draw an additional card each turn, return the card to the top of the draw pile. Or add the Sting. Stings don't really do anything for us, so I'll take the cheetah's hand here. Gives a little bit more information. We held vent the shattered shell. We remove both shiny stewards. So reliably on the first turn, I can set up my mid floor as I'd like. Which is exactly what we were kind of aiming for the whole time. So here's how it goes. Ah, she's got to return. Nice. Um, get the hidden passage out. Yeah, I just realized it. Just, just in case you were just wondering, it just clicked. I could have done this with the ascend. <laughs> There's nothing stopping me from doing that. In fact, this way, I have to take a Ember Drain every time I do it. <laughs> uh, okay, we pull the Demon Friend to the front. That is one of my favorite pieces of tech, the, the Vine Grasp Your Own Unit. And it's, it's definitely one of my favorites just because it's been in the game for a really long period of time. Still like it, though. Unfortunately, these backline units won't even strike unless the Fell is in the right position, so I, I probably ascend Fell next turn. Let's put the Spike of the Hellhorned into a later hand. Give you an ancient alloy there. Thankfully, because they've all got strike triggers, this is still really good. Uh, let's put the Spike of the Hellhorn back atop the deck again, because I'm going to use the Pyagro. And then... A... Bunch of root seeds to still get that back. Move to slay from myself there. Oops. That can descend you, which is actually really good. Having descend and descend tech in the deck is is good. It's, it's good. It's not. On, it's, it's, it's good. That is not one of the weaker points here, despite the fact that there are many. Okay. Let's 
Pop the hidden passage back just in case you go to the bottom line. Never really watched their patterns closely. Probably should. There we go. Uh, pop a restoring retreat out there because we get to use that next turn to set you back to the same floor. Or maybe we don't even get to use it next turn because we'll just win right now. That seems good to me as well. Yeah, yeah, you don't not take that. I'd love another Pyagro. It's the ability to generate energy out of nothing. <sighs> Are removals important for this deck anymore? I would argue, like, yes, still, like, you get the Pyre Shards out of the deck, get the Vine Grasp out of the deck. They're still useful. Are they the be-all end-all anymore? Probably not. Can I afford to go for a Merchant of Steel so that I can try and upgrade this demon friend a bunch? I think so. No, I don't give it multi-strike. It intentionally doesn't want that. It wants as much HP as possible, and that's it. That's it. That's all it needs. Just got caught up and ruined. It's not a battle draw until you have 10 cards. Yeah, and then put one card back atop my deck. I'm already drawing seven cards in the opening hand. This isn't good. Uh, it's not good, but it's still fine. Seven extra energy on turn one. Yeah. Friendly units gain plus two damage on Slay, though. Oh, God. Give them even greater scaling that way. Still don't think that's actually useful. Uh, turn one, I may end up doing something like an Awoken Rail Spike or a uh, Spike of the Hellhorn quite consistently, so... Improved Firebox actually seems quite yeah. useful there. No more signing me in as Restore all health when they ever move up a floor, if they ever move up a floor, that is. A card to return, you say. Unfortunately, that purifier is going to be a bit of a problem for us. Two snaps. And you get that. Backline's the one that wants to get all of the buffs. I like that I can decide, I can't pay for this this turn. I'm putting back to the top of the deck. It's uh, very useful. Eventually, the back line is not going to be attacking as much as everything else, so it, getting the scaling here is nice. I will kill you. Let's also pop the Awoken Rail Spike back to the top of the deck again one more time, because I'm about to use Pyagra. Three thorns. Definitely don't want you to pass. Actually, it's just to send you so they don't have to deal with you. Nice. Uh, here we put the restoration detonation back atop the deck. Go to you, and then decreases cost. Ooh. All of those were impactful decreases. Oh, you love to see it, but rarely do. Um, again, Pyre Shards never really find time to be played because I always have something else that seems much more viable, valuable, liable to be played. 
got to stop moving squishy units to the front because then they die to the alpha friend and that doesn't even scale. Healing hearts are there, I guess. There is a right one that I should probably just be buffing every time. I feel like it probably is the backmost one. But I do have three of them, and I, I just feel like it'd be rude not to spread out the buffs a little more equitably, you know? I mean, that's a. <laughs> What am I gonna do? Play the whole hand? Still lethal? Uh, awesome. And one more hard pass of the road. Much of shields? Is that ever it? Two removals. <sighs> Merchant of Magic feels a bit better. Honestly, the two removals also would be great. Two cost reductions over here would be okay. What would the dupe hit? Consume removal on the Awoken Rail Spike. Um, and then we do that or... It's difficult. I could see a good argument for either way here. Two removals? Really? Am I going to be paying for that? So it'd be Vine Grasp, because we get one every turn already. That can consume, so it's not like a priority. Steel Enhancers are a little bit of plus HP on units that don't necessarily otherwise have it. I think I'd go out here. Merchant Trinkets, show me what you got. Xcots get plus three to their value when played, and friendlies enter with armor five. Incredible. Four more armor each time it's applied. Oh my god. Hold over. What would I hold over? I don't know if I hold over anything. In fact, 25 removal, reroll. Okay. Permafrost. That's unfortunate. I guess my cost reduction should have gone on the Awoken Rails back then. I was hoping that I would get consume removal here. Uh, do that Awoken Rails spike. Definitely. Divine Boons. Don't want to use that for anything. Would be one more removal. Still probably worth. Uh, let's get that Vine Grasp out of there. Oh, I could have also just gotten that without the consume. Ah. All right. Prideful Emblem should not be able to stop us. They spawned in the right order as well. Uh, so you'll ascend next turn, which means I want to keep a descend for you next turn. Denson, send. Higher grow. 
And then I think I do just viciously back, uh, buff the backline here. Although I do need them all to get an, uh, an initial attack off. Otherwise, this is uh, useless. Also, I got to get that back to a later hand again. I don't think I used the Awoken Rail spec just yet. Mm -hmm. I'm back to spreading out the buffs, just because I want to make sure that everyone gets to attack. And every turn that I can keep you in the midline is a much better turn for us. Because then we are definitely scaling with all of our units. Or oh, 7, eh? Fill my hand. My god, that actually hit a useful reduction on everything. Pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Hidden passage to send the enemy back up as well. Nice. Uh, let's get a ritual battle out there. You can come back up here. Draw seven again. Set a bunch more stuff to zero cost, and then it's just how many cards can I draw in a turn, basically. Because we can pay for them all. I can guarantee that to you. We can definitely pay for them all. Come back down here. And that's almost lethal. Uh, let's pop you back on this floor. Nice. All right. Let's see how this fares against TLD. Uh, okay. Put a ritual of battle out there. You there. You go top. Uh, we... Don't have our vine grasp. That's in our first discard pile. That's rough. It's fine. As long as I don't draw 10 cards next turn. But this is going to draw a card at the start of the turn. So I actually can't play any of the Root Seeds. Okay with not playing any of the Root Seeds. I have to be. Don't really get a say in that matter. go. We got our vine grass. I guess I'm probably not going to use that this turn. Let me pull the big boy to the front of the line. All right. And everyone should be maximally scaling constantly just because TLD is always in the back line. Oh. 
I mean, it's not like they can share the slay triggers. Uh, I'm just gonna turn. And ritual of battle. It's gonna be coming back anyway. Gonna be hitting me working rail spike this turn. Let's send you. Six. Suits me fine. More zero costs. Lovely. Feel pretty confident now. Yeah, just now I feel like we're gonna turn the corner on this one, you know? Feel like we can finally pull this one out. Gonna make sure that I don't cast a descend there. Let's pop the ventral shard back to the top of the hand. I don't even need to use that. Let's try and get you a little bit healthier just to celebrate the fact that you are here, demon friend, with all of these hidden alpha friends in the shattered shells behind you, and then the quickest friend of them all, Will Frenton. So that run almost died two times while it was setting up, but the character that created in the Shattered Shell with three multi-strike, uh, as well as strike giving it plus five, um, next to World End that's already enchanting with quick, did result in us having a unit that was powerful enough to still pull us back from the brink. It died a bunch of those times as well, and it, it wasn't... It wasn't everything, but it was enough until it took off. Very pleased with that run. Very, very damn pleased with that run. Well, for the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Monster Train The Last Divinity. Let's see if my internet is currently working. It is! <laughs> Um, it's, it's the, it's the ordering of the words here. Like, you know, there's a scene, right? A, a, a scene where you are invited as the guest of honor, um, to, to these kind of, uh, ritualistic rites, uh, that are being performed by a, a, a group you're familiar with. Let's say a, a a small sect of a religion. Um, I'm I'm thinking in a fantasy world here as well, so I'm not even thinking an analog to a real religion or any kind of thing, right? I've just been playing a lot of Horizon Zero Dawn, so I'm thinking actually about the Banuk <laughs> uh, specifically. But you're invited, and then as per the trope, you're invited to a ceremony. And they intend to eat you. You're invited to the ceremony, comma, being tribute, comma, rest of the sentence. It's the being, being in the middle position here that janks that up a little bit for the moment, though. 46 minutes. That's a hot run. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.